Hey you guys, Misty here. I've got a beautiful book to show you guys called Animals of Africa Coloring Book by Carlo Atzi. He sent me this book and I'm going to flip through it and show you guys. It's a really good book. I've already colored about three pages in it. Um, and I'll, I'll write down some information, this information right here. I'll write down some of it on the, my info on this video. For you guys i colored this one right here this was fun to do i used some glitter gel pens and a marker for the sky on this one and on the back of his pages he tells about all the animals that's in the picture so you've got your information on the back here and you can look up what's a plus is that you can look up the animals and if you want to color them you know by uh color them the way they're supposed to look you can or whichever way you prefer i thought it was pretty fun to look them up and kind of uh, it's hard to get the uh, animals just right on the color though it really is but it's still fun to look them up and see what you can find you know because some of these i hadn't heard of before um, so these are really these are really fun to color these pictures are really fun to color with markers and I prefer mostly gel pen because you've got a lot of um, smaller areas to color you know all around the picture so definitely I would use probably some gel pens on these pictures and you've got your information on the back here tell them what all the animals are on the back of the page so i'll leave this a minute so you can see it it's really beautiful he just puts all you know the animals and birds together in one picture which makes it really interesting because that way you can um learn about different animals in africa and the birds and stuff and just it's really fun just look up on um google google the animals and the birds and see what what's out there but he's a really good artist. I love his pictures. Really beautiful art. That's a beautiful picture right there. It would be hard for me to draw some animals like this for sure. It would be really hard to do. Look how beautiful this is. This is absolutely beautiful. See, he's got some moths in there too. Different things you can color. Not just one thing is what I like. There's a variety of everything in the picture. We've got different things here. That is really beautiful. And it's really fun using gel pens in this book. It really is. Let me let Punk it in. It's going to be a pretty day today, guys. It's supposed to be up in the 60s, I think. So, that's a plus. Okay, I colored this pretty picture right here. These drafts with just, um, I just used the glitter gel pens on it. Really fun to do. I really enjoyed it. It's really shiny and sparkly here. These are pretty. Look at this, how pretty this is. This is so pretty. So pretty. It's such a good book. I love the cover too. It's really good. And I'll link the book below for you guys. Here he tells about every picture. This one right here, I use some, um, I use marker and gel pens on this one. It's really fun especially that snake that snake was really fun to color and you see the little bird right there definitely fun to color i really like doing that look at this this is really nice here we got a snake in here too just a variety of everything you can color you know animals in one page is really nice to me and see you've got got you some um, butterflies here in the picture 
all different things in one picture. But most art, you know, he's one artist that I like where you where he writes the information about what kind of animal it is and the bird, the names, because a lot of artists doesn't do that, you know. And then you you're like, well, what kind of animal is this, you know, a bird? Look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Be fun to color with some pencil. You could use your pencil on that one. And I looked up this uh, bird here. Let's see, Butler, Butler Eagle. I looked it up and it's really pretty online. It's different colors. B a t e l e u r, Baitler, Baitler Eagle. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. I would definitely use pencil on this if you've got a good hand at pencil. I would, I would put down some pencil with me. I like using marker or gel pen, you know. But if you've got if you if you've got a good hand for it, I would definitely go for it with pencil on this beautiful picture here. Drawing. Guess how pretty this is. And I like the frames. These pages has got pretty frames around them, too. This has got a bunch of different animals in it. It's really nice. It's a snake. Yes. All kinds of nice drawings there. Alligator peeking through down there at the bottom. Ooh, pretty. Beautiful book. Absolutely. I love this book. It's so nice. This is really beautiful here, too really good drawing every page has good drawings in it love it Ooh, look at this. This is so pretty right here. And then he's got another book I've showed on my channel. Animals of the Sea coloring book. Uh, he was the first artist that sent me a book for my channel. Back around, I guess it was July of last year, August. So I was really excited. 
Um, we've got this one right here. It's really good, too. I recommend, highly recommend it. Animals of the Sea. And we're going to do a backflip again. So I highly recommend this book, guys. I, it's really nice to color in. Highly recommend it. I'm going to just flip through these and back flip them because they're really nice pictures. I know you've seen them, but I'm going to do a back flip. And the book's not that bad in price. It's, I think it's like around $5 in price, which isn't too bad. So there you go. There's his book to look at so thank you all so much for watching and we will be back again have a good day love you all bye bye